Welcome from the City of Entertainment. You are listening to Las Vegas Backstage Talk with your host, comedian Michelle LaFong. The only show that really gets personal with the stars. Partnered with Casino Player Magazine, a monthly gaming lifestyle publication with over 88,000 paid subscribers nationally, which now features LaFong's syndicated columns and backstage videotaped interviews online. Our website is LasVegasBackstageTalk.com, where the show is... I felt we had reached a certain pinnacle of success. We had gone and done the Copacabana, Copacabana, and 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 then I was getting calls to uh, do acting. Because at the time he, he got married, and he had a uh, and he has a wonderful wife, with a terrific singer. She really is, uh, Katie. Yes, she is. He wanted to put her in the middle of the act, which he did, you know. Cause oh! I didn't but originally it was just to do a, a song, the wedding song, which was a beautiful ballad that she wrote, you know, for the And originally I, I, it didn't faze me because, you know, I was confident about my situation, you know. But And she did the wedding song, and then later on it became a dance number, and then it became another thing. and So then it didn't become out on the Ross anymore. Right. You know, and... So we weren't getting booked, and at that point, there was no point in being together anymore. Ah, you know, I got us to three deal. was a crowd, deals. right? That's, that, right. that's what happened. So. Right. Weren't you approached to do something last year with Steve uh, for some big anniversary, no. like a hundred years no. anniversary? <laughs> yeah, or you were. I was. Yeah. Well, we had an what? offer. Tell we me had what an I offer got to about uh, several months ago. Mm. from a, a, a manager that uh, manages uh, Little Anthony and the Imperials. And he offered us a million dollars to do a tour called The Final Reunion and a, uh, and a, and a cable special, like an HBO or a Showtime. I, you don't I remember? Mean, <laughs> it, it was like you were offered like a couple million dollars or something. Yeah. So why go, why but they did didn't you do it? I didn't money. do it. I didn't know the government was going to shut down. <laughs> I know we're not getting our food stamps. We're starving over here. Yeah. So, but but why why wouldn't you uh, would you consider doing no? He said the same thing. <laughs> no. The answer, no, Michelle, yes. to be yes. honest, uh, we have a phenomenal act, and, uh, and what is uh, makes it so wonderful is Karen walks out and destroys him with her singing and piano playing. Oh, I know. She I know. Play, Karen's you know, fantastic. She plays the piano like Jerry Lee Lewis. Absolutely. And sings her thing off. And then she is a great straight woman. Okay, I'll give we you a million become, dollars out of my wait, own pocket. <laughs> we have become the new George Burns and Gracie Allen, only I'm Gracie. That's I want to be crazy. No. Oh, okay. So, so if you show me the million, ah! put it in the account, and you're doing that. Ah, I love that. <laughs> I lo <laughs> you're the best. You're the best at ad living. Oh my goodness, oh, Grace, I isn't love she it. wonderful? Yes. See, I, I, no, I, I paid my guests to say this. See, but I haven't seen Marty have this much time on an interview. Had this much fun on an interview. Yeah. Michelle, I got to tell you, I've done hundreds of interviews through the years, and this is true. This is absolute truth. Not because you're my friend, but nobody has ever brought up subject matter like you have. Hmm. Uh, why did you break up? Uh, the, the chemistry of the egg. Uh, what happened? How come you don't do a final reunion kind of show and the whole thing? I think that's absolutely fabulous because. Other people are too stupid to ask questions mm. like that, you know. Wow. And you are absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I, I love that you said. Yeah, I know. <laughs>